Today on the channel we explore this stunning grade 2 listed building in Wales. The hotel was built in 1833 and is built in late Georgian style. It's four stories high and has been listed since the early 1970s. The previous owner of the hotel, once stayed in by John Lennon and Yoko Ono, is embroiled in a bitter row with locals who wanted to force him to sell it. The historic building sits in a state of disrepair and local residents living nearby say it's become a magnet for antisocial behaviour. The local residents banded together to try and get the government to issue a compulsive purchase order on the property, saying it's of historical importance and should be preserved. According to the past owner, he did apply for grants and funding, but the government did not see the old hotel important enough to save. So join us as we take a look inside this beautiful Georgian building and see what remains. What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today Matt and I are about to head inside this absolutely amazing Georgian hotel that's been closed down, we believe 2015, 14. Everything's left behind inside, so much to have a look at, so much history to this place. John Lennon and Yoko used to frequent this place quite a lot back in the 1960s. The Queen's mother once stayed here, quite a lot of uh, famous celebrities once stayed in this hotel. It's now been abandoned for quite a while, it is quite derelict but like I said there's so much left inside. So we've all that said guys we're going to head straight inside check this place out it looks absolutely amazing and i hope you enjoy it let's do it Okay guys, so we are in the hotel now. This place is absolutely full. There's so much left behind in here. Absolutely insane. Crazy that this has been left in this way. Um, you can see there is a little bit of vandal damage, but pretty all right to be fair, isn't it, Matt? Yeah, it's good. I mean, look at this room. It's just absolutely filled. All the different possessions from over the years. We've got records on the floor here, literally trampling over stuff because there's so much here. But check out that. The power's still on in here. Nice architecture. Got the chandeliers hanging down there. Nice archways. But there's all like electronics, there's computers, all the furniture, artwork still up on the wall there. Place is absolutely rammed full. There's all books that we have to climb over. Check this out. This obviously would have been for the people that stayed here to come and choose any books that they'd like to read. Crazy. Can tell this was actually like the venue room, Matt. Look at the yeah. table set out, you know, for like a wedding. Yeah. Guys, we believe the place was abandoned like 2012 or 13. The people of the village have been trying to get this place compulsory purchased. So the council have to buy it and do it up, but they've just got nowhere with it. And the place is becoming quite derelict at the moment. Look at this ceiling, big cracks in the ceiling all the damp coming in crazy Look at this bay window as well so nice isn't it it's a shame that there's so much stuff here like we can't like walk around do you know what I mean? in this room yeah this but room. It, it it does seem all right in the other rooms yeah, doesn't it yeah. yeah i just it's just mad that it's just full and check this look the electricity's still on and check this funky wallpaper but look, lights are still on. It's crazy. Staff only part here. We have big kitchens there, but we'll just head into this back room here. Obviously like an old dining room, but check this out. It is a Georgian build and you can actually tell by the old wooden panels. This is crazy though. It's not very often you get to come somewhere and the uh, electricity is still on, the power's still on, especially somewhere that's been abandoned this long. Like, who's paying for it? But look at this, old teddies, a piano here, Wilhelm's, oh God, Wilhelm spaghetti, I don't know. But look at the design on there, all the leaves and fruit. Not really seen one like this before. 
still working as well. All board games on the top here. But it's just insane. You can see that this was once a dining room as well. All the tables set out. They are just covered in possessions now, I'm not really sure. But still got bottles of alcohol unopened on the table. Oh, there is like old smelly bottles there. The TVs are still here, look. Like I said, artwork, but you can see the structural damage. This is a grade two listed building, guys, which means if somebody bought it to do it up, they'd have to do it up in a specific way. And it does hinder a lot of people from buying places because it's just such a nightmare. There's so much red tape and paperwork to do anything to these properties, which is good that it's um, protected, but it just means they're limited to what they can actually do with the buildings. It's such a shame, but check that all stained glass at the top there. Got some graffiti, but the old pool table still here, obviously covered in crap, but still here. It's just insane how much is left. Another big TV there. Wow. Right guys, we are gonna keep moving because this is a big, big place. There's so much to see here and nature has taken over a lot of it as well, which is so cool to see. Oh, there's Matt in the kitchen here. But we're just gonna have a little look around these bottom rooms before we head up and check out the bedrooms. And look, look how much is left. Literally, it's just like they walked straight out the door, just locked the doors and that was it. Done with the place. All the cups, teapots, everything's still here. Thousands of pounds of equipment. Old toast maker there, you'd see you'd set that out in the breakfast room. People would come along and put their piece of bread in and it would cook it and throw it out the bottom. Old kettles there, coffee machines. But these all seem quite retro, even though it was only like mid 2000s, it seems quite dated. Oh my days. Bottle of Lambrini. Now like people that don't know, Lambrini is literally like the cheapest of the cheap dirty wine that kids drink in the park in the UK. So I'm surprised to see that here. But all your sauces, everything's left, it's crazy. Look at all these pepper things just knocking about. Absolutely loving this. Let's go see where Matt is in here. Oh, it's the law, remember? Oh, that is absolutely rank, it stinks. <laughs> it stinks. Just open in the fridge, mate, it's rank. Is there food in there? Uh, not really, no. But there might be in these. These fridges are still on, aren't they? Yeah, I can hear them now. This is crazy. It's hard to find an actual date. We looked online and there's yeah. not an actual date of when the building closed. So this here's got 1998 on it. 98? Yeah. It's got to be after that though, bro. Oh yeah, it has to be, yeah. But I mean, that's there. Yeah. I wonder if that was the owner. Is that a certificate so, of like... It's a hygiene training from the 6th, uh, sorry, from the 9th to the 16th of February, 1998. Ah, there you are then. But look at all the uh, utensils left. <laughs> There's so much left in there. There is. All cobwebs hanging down. It's like um, The Last of Us, isn't it? The uh, TV series. Apocalyptic, isn't it? It is very apocalyptic. I wonder how many people worked here. Like, worked? Could, yeah. Dozens, probably. It's a big place. Yeah, it's so weird though. It's like everything's gone, but everything's still here. Like, yeah. Everyone's gone, but everything's still here. Yeah, it's the apocalypse. Mate, I can't believe that's still on. It's dripping. It's dripping. Oh, there's some chicken in here, mate, on sale. And it actually still looks edible, but uh, look, bagels. Mate, that's disgusting. It stinks. You could well live here, though, if you were homeless. All the washing up just still sat here. Pot washes give up. <laughs> He's gone home. He's not interested. Oh, mate, you're brave, you know. oh, you got to look in the fridges, haven't you? No. Hey, look at this, Matt. Old portable TV from when the chefs were in here. Probably had the football on and that on that. Matt, look how small it is. I know. My phone's bigger than that. Mate. Look how small these fryers are, Matt. Ugh, greasy. Mate, that fridge Didn't do a stinks, good job. Mate. It's disgusting, isn't it? This is crazy though, how all this is left. Love it. Look at all the drips that came out of it when you opened it. It was all over your shoes. Oh, nice. But let's push into this part and these back rooms now. 
So this is all for the staff. This is the kitchens. Oh, step over there. But look at this. Literally everything is left. Cups, saucers, pots, pans. Amazing. Look at all these books though. Why are the books here? In these back rooms. That's a bit crazy. But like I said, pot wash obviously given up. He's called it a day. Here's his little machine. But look how overgrown it is as well. You can see the ivy coming up the windows there. So guys, yeah, we did try and research when this place closed, but there's no date anywhere online to let us know, which is quite strange because we've got quite a lot of history. Like John Lennon and Yoko used to stay here. It's a listed building. It was built in 18, 1800s, late 1800s, I believe. But no actual date for when it closed. Strange. Look at this, all the wallpaper peeling off. I can't believe the electric's still on in here. That is, that's so strange. We've got lifts. What's back here? Oh, look, all the ornaments. Trinkets, trinkets in the cupboards there. All flowers, been knocked over though. More books, the place is just absolutely filled with books. Paintings up on the walls. Gentleman's cloak room. That's very posh, isn't it? Toilet. Someone's brought a pint in here, like. <laughs> Gentleman's cloak room. That's a posh way of just saying toilet, innit? Right, let's go uh, head up this way. Here's the lifts. Oh, bro, it's open. Yeah, I'm not <gasps> It's on. Yeah, I'm not. Are you getting it now? I'm not. I kind of want to. No, I mean. I do kind of want to. I might. Oh, what if it collapses and I die? That's what I mean. I might do. I might just press it in a bit. No, Look at the. Uh, brings, the brings the building down. Sorry, bring the building down. Oh, Actually, no, it could have. Be seen, it? <laughs> Look at that. All the plaster's coming down. Mate, the state of the place and the electric is on. I know. That's what. It's mad, isn't it? It is mad. There's just boxes of books everywhere as well. There's a headless doll, well, feetless as well. She's definitely seen better days. Oh my days, look. How it just perfectly preserved in this cupboard here, this glass cupboard. Look at her, evil, absolutely evil. The books here again, fish tank. Um, fish are probably dead, <laughs> I guess, because uh, it has been broken. I hope, I hope they cleared it out but when they left and didn't just leave some fish to die here. But look at this, this is insane. Gonna have to be so careful because the floor is sodden and damp and full of debris. But look at this, the old bar area here and look, just completely taken over. Like I said, it, it is like the last of us in here. All the nature's come through, plants growing out of the sofas. There is still fake plants on the side over there, plastic ones. Check that. We're just looking straight out into the daylight there. But I have to be careful because I do know that there is a huge cellar underneath us that we are gonna check out. Go to this bit just so I can show you. Oh God, the floor, the floor. Uh, but look at this. The bar stools are still sat at the bar, covered in ivy. That is insane. Right guys, I am just gonna hop back over this because that floor was quite spongy and bouncy there. Be careful if anyone comes here because you are gonna end up through the floor. And just to say the last of us, there's your fungus. There's your fungus disease. There's literally mushrooms growing out of the wall. Yeah. It's double H Smith's still, I think. Yeah, Smith's. Is it still going, yeah? Yeah. Look at this, this main entrance. Oh my God, mate. Wow. Look at the size of that rat. A rat? Holy, it's massive. It's, it's mummified. It's huge, mate, look at it. Give it here, I'll scram it. <laughs> <laughs> but this, is, look at this, the furniture. All just left. It's mad how some of these have still been preserved. Look, just still in these cupboards here. Furniture's amazing. Yeah, it's so nice, isn't it? It is genuinely really nice furniture. And we still have the old grandfather clock here too, look. Just sat in the corner. 
quarter to six, quarter, no that's a bit off that because the little hand's not in the right place. But check this. Hey, there's pictures of, uh, looks like royalty that were here. Yeah, Queen Victoria was here. That was the Queen many she moons ago. Yeah, she was here. It actually says it on there. Visited by Queen Victoria. Queen Victoria. Mad that, eh? I'm gassed. The fireplace. At the Arms Hotel. Amazing. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, look at the mirror and everything. Gold. The big globe here. I love finding these, you know. So eerie. The mould all over it. This is what we like, innit? She visited what? Queen Victoria 2004? No, she was dead in 2004. Well, why is it saying 2004 on that? I don't know. Maybe that's when it shut. You were the open it up and they shut, wouldn't they? I don't know. Listen to the alarm going off, Matt. Alarms are going off. So these are the back rooms again. Offices, reception area. So there should be dates in here. Look at this. Fire alarms going off. That's probably been going off for uh, years. No police came. All the keys for the doors there. All files. There should be a date. There literally should be a date somewhere. That beeping's annoying. But we got the computer still sat here. Wow. Look at the decay. Ceilings coming down. Crazy. Whoa, I'm not going to head into this room because the floor is bouncing. Look at that. That whole lamp moving. But this is obviously the office where the manager, staff would come. So nice paint peel at the top there. And then this, uh, this little weirdo just sat here. Up to no good. She looks like she's up to no good. She looks a bit cheeky. But it's mad because like the monitors are still on over there. You can see like how long has this place just been running like this with uh, electric still on, lights are still on, but it's just so derelict in some parts and like the bar with the uh, ivy growing everywhere. Like, we can get behind the bar here too. Look, that's had. We're not going in the girls' room. It stinks. But check this. Wine, still on the opt um, the things, can't remember what you call them. Optics, bar pumps. There's still some beer in here. Yeah, floor's fine. I'm just seeing if there's uh, any of these pumps still work. Little cobwebs over the pumps, look. All the ivy growing in this bar. Is it actually all right here? Yeah, it's fine. Matt, there's still martini here. Oh, wow. These have still got stuff in it. Martinis there. Mate, vodka. There's there? still vodka in there. What? Can you smell that? No. Whatever you just... Um, oh, it'd just be mouldy beer. Yeah, I just did yeah. a pump. Look at the cobwebs over these. Look you love it? Yeah, but this is awesome. Look, the pints. Pint glasses still ready to be washed. No. <laughs> Full bottles. Kind of Stella there, random. Right, we're gonna head into this area through this curtain. And it is just full. It's just completely full. Look at all this alcohol. This is like a separate bar area. Looks like more of an actual bar more than the hotel, which is uh, what we've just been looking at. Old Siggy machine. <laughs> Benson and Edges. Three pound. For a pack of fags it's like 12 pound now that gives a bit of a, a date old dartboard just sat there i'm genuinely loving this foosball table look at the dust on here love it absolutely love it let's just uh have a little peek what's down here i don't think there's much down here oh it's just like a nut uh you know, like a function room, but the floor is collapsing, so I'm not going to head in there, guys. We are just going to have a look from here. But look at that. All the wallpaper coming down. The floor is actually broke. Broke? Sounded well weird saying that, then. But this is the function room, obviously. So, I think that's the bottom floor covered. 
we're gonna start heading up now check out the rooms apparently there is some proper oh god i'm going flying here apparently there is some proper luxury rooms in this place which i really want to check out i'm loving it absolutely amazing can't get over it right let's head through oh matt there's still Cans of Coke and Pepsi in here, but they're all blown. What's the date on them? Cans don't have a date on them. Yeah, check the bottom of it. Check the bottom of it. Oh, mate, still stuff in it. It just says February 2011. 2011. That's longer than we thought, isn't it? That is, I thought, I was thinking like 15. Yeah, yeah, like 14. Yeah, it's just crazy, but I can't get over the fact that we're behind a bar. I used to work behind the bar, mate. Yeah, but that's just pure decay, mate. It is. It's a bit, it's, uh, it's a bit better than the bar I worked at. <laughs> <laughs> right, guys, so we are going to head up past the alarms, past the creepy dolls, and we're going to head up to the first floor and see what we can find. I do want to check out the basement, but I think I like to save the basement to last, just because we don't know what's down there. And you do sometimes find little hidden gems. But look at this, it forks off now. It's quite dark up here. All the ivy growing up still. Got the archways with the nice architecture. And a chandelier just completely covered in cobwebs. It does get a bit creepy up here, but I do believe that that is just because it's dark, to be honest. I mean, look at it. Not really sure why it's so dark. The lights should be on. I don't know why they're not. But let's just head into these bedrooms now and check out a couple of these rooms. Wow, look at this guys, luxury, luxury bedrooms in this part, nice big four poster bed, probably set you back a few quid to stay in this room, as it is like a nice touristy area to be honest, bathroom here, there's books on the bath, the last Templar, Ooh. Bit of a strange read while she sat on the bog. But check this, just completely frozen in time. Telephone still on the side, lamps. TV still in here. Still got the tray where you'd have all your brew stuff. Nice little ornaments and lamps at the top here. An old uh, trouser press is that, I believe. But yeah, bare, four poster bed in this abandoned apocalyptic hotel. I love doing stuff like this, guys. Absolutely love it. The bigger the better for me for exploring. We do like the houses, but it's just, you can just spend so much time in these big places. Room three, let's head in. Let's have a look. Oh, it looks like someone's been living in here. It actually does, look at this. Knives and forks, all your, uh, Cups. I suppose the kettle and that would still work with that being power, but that does look quite old. Old money tin. But it does look like someone's been staying here. This is a bit weird. You've got records on the side here on this bed. Not really sure. They are empty. And a Hawaii phone. And then your condiments. Somebody's been staying here. I'm sure of it. Another mobile there. There is credit on the side as well. So these are for like, pay as you go phones. So I wouldn't really understand why they are in this hotel. Cause this is like quite a swanky hotel. So that's a bit strange. I like to still on. I do think somebody's been living in those rooms. Well, that room. I'd definitely pick the four poster room if I was gonna live in here. But these doors are locked. So we're just gonna have to keep pushing forward, find doors that we can actually go in. There is a few rooms that are open here. Let's have a look here. So this just says, Cadvan Suite. So this is a suite. So this should be more like an apartment. You got the sofas here, big double bed. Look at this chandelier on top. Amazing, artwork still up. I love the architecture in this place as well. Like we said, it is Georgian. So it has a very old feel in here. And by the looks of it, it closed in 2011. But these drawers are all full. Like old VHS is there. 
There's clothes in the wardrobe. There's clothes in the wardrobe here. Strange. VHS. Machines. Video players. Looks like they had a pet rabbit. He's long gone. Oh guys, check this out. Kids room. Wallace and Gromit there. That's from back in the day, isn't it? Bit of Disney. But look at this. Definitely a kid's room. A kid called Ryan. Yeah, look, he's got his own hat as well. Ryan. We're in Ryan's room. So maybe this was the owner's. Or a manager that stayed here. Because you do find that you get that. You do get managers that live in. Make sure everything's running smoothly all the time. Obviously they've had a little boy called Ryan. Wonder where they are now. This place is just completely abandoned, derelict. It's pretty much on its way out. The, like I said, the villager did try and save this place, but it hasn't gone any further than a few signatures. Council doesn't seem to be too interested in the place, but it probably cost them an absolute fortune to restore it. I mean, look at this. Look at the structural damage there, the cracks in the wall. They are big, deep cracks. But this is crazy, Ryan's room. Right, let's push forward. Let's try these different rooms, see if we can get in. Like I said, a lot of them are locked and we're not gonna go kicking doors down. Looks like somebody's already done that though in some of these rooms. So these ones are locked. Oh, I thought that one had a bit of give. Yeah, these are locked. We are just gonna keep going till we find the rooms that we can get inside of. I believe there's one right in front of me now. Oh, this one. Oh, this is just storage now. Old quiz games. So these are the old hotel rooms. These have just been used for storage later on in life. What do we have here? Wow, it's so cool to see these rooms. Look, all the bed sheets. Old TV on the side here. That is proper retro as well. Sliding doors into the bathroom. More of these big cracks in the walls. There's something dead in that bath. So, a lot of death in this place. Ugh. Room 14, explorers. And check this. It does have a proper dusty, old, musky smell in this place. But you can tell it was once actually a really nice hotel. Look at the brew stuff still on the side. Kettle, cups, the little tray. My foot just nearly went through the floor. Gonna have to be so careful. But there's a TV there that's covered in wallpaper coming down from there. And then another bathroom, which we're not gonna spend too much time looking in each bathroom in each part because you know they're all the same aren't they the hotel once you've seen one you've seen them all but i do think that quite a few of these rooms are a little bit different to each other like each does have their own like i hope that was me feature like this is quite a plain room in here is this called a twin room twin beds i i'm actually because i spend so much time in hotels when I'm traveling and that. It's so weird to see this brew stuff just set out like this. Like it's abandoned, because I see it so often. But it is so weird. Look at the old phones just still here. Crazy. What do you think so far, guys? I'm absolutely loving it. I am buzzing about this place. I really like it. We haven't done a hotel for such a long time on the channel as well. So when I get a chance to do something different, I love to jump at it. I think we're gonna head up again now, see what else we've got. We've got cupboards here, this is for the staff, all the bedding and everything there. But look at this, this looks a bit ominous, doesn't it? A bit, a bit creepy. You can see out into the back now, nice views. Nice big hotel this is. You can see there is vandal damage in each part of it. But I feel like it's not too much vandal damage. Oh my days. Oh my days. That stinks. Oh. Oh my god. Guys, I'm holding my breath. That is just filled. <sighs> I 
It's just filled with bird poo. That smell like death. That's disgusting. Like someone's just farted straight in my mouth. Disgusting. Room 29. Oh, this one is proper frozen in time. Wow, it feels so retro in here. Look at this. It's just left so perfectly. It's just preserved so well. I mean, look at the old phones here. No way. It's still got a dial tone. What? That is a new one. The phone's still having a dial tone. That's crazy. I know I keep saying crazy, but I love it. I love it. I get excited, don't I? This is a different bathroom. Like I said, each room does kind of have its own vibe. I mean, look how retro the shower is. See the plastic flowers in every room? It's, it's very strange to see how colourful they are compared to like the dead plants that are coming inside here. Like this ivy growing up. But I can't believe that phone's still got a dial tone. I can't wait to get pictures. I will be uploading pictures of this place to Instagram guys, Adam Mark Explores. Go over and give me a follow. I am really enjoying taking photographs at the moment. I'm trying really hard to make them better. So um if you could give us a follow and support us over on Instagram, that would be amazing. But look at this, the brew kit. I'm gonna check, I'm gonna see if this one has. No way. It's still got a dial tone. What is going on in the world? Bathroom, yeah. I think we're just getting to territory now where it's repeating the rooms. Shall we see if we can get this TV on? <gasps> Please don't blow up. Uh, that just fizzed. <gasps> No way! That is crazy. The TVs are still on. Oh my days. I'm gonna turn that off though. Just as so not want to blow it up and the place going on fire. That is crazy. The phones are still working. The lights are still on. The TVs are working. This is sick. Epic. This is a weird little room. The beds are all folded up. Not really sure what's going on there. I don't think they used this room. Definitely didn't use this room. I think once you get to a certain point in the corridor, the rooms just go to like cheap rooms where they just repeat themselves. I think if we head up again, the rooms will be different, if that makes sense. Oh, what's this? Have I been in here? That door's closing behind me, but I think I knocked it. Oh, we're still on this floor. What is going on? Hang on. Yeah, right. We're going to head up another floor. But I'm not going up this floor, up these stairs. I'm going to have to make my way all the way back around, because look at this. Just mountains of bird crap. So, I'm going to make my way back down to these stairs. And then we're going to head up to the, to the last floor. I think the last floor. We're going to head up there. But I am absolutely loving this place. Amazing. Proper apocalypse vibes. Right, so top floor now, guys. Oh, it gets creepier. Every floor you go up gets a little bit creepier. Like, look at this. I thought I heard talking, but I think it's just... Oh, it's Matt. Matt, you scared the life out of me then. I thought there's a, a ghost. But like I said, each corridor just gets creepier. Look at all these butterflies. I think they're butterflies or moths. I hate moths. This door is sealed, but it looks like someone has give it a good... Oh no, it's open. I was gonna say, it looks like somebody's give it a good kick in, but it was just stiff at the top. Oh my God, this room is rank. Guys, I am not gonna stay long in this room because it's covered in bird shit. But look, we got clothes. Look at the furniture here, guys. Fancy chairs, fancy sofa, look at that, that has got some age to it. Guys, I'm gonna have to have a look, sorry. Look at the detail in this chair. Look at that, all hand carved. Uh, I think I'm disturbing some pigeons here, but I am just gonna be quick in here. I'm just gonna be so quick. Oh, oh. <laughs> I've been attacked. There's another pigeon here. Bin bag's moved, scared me. 
<laughs> Look at this. Look at this. Look at these clothes. This fur coat over there. Look at all these shoes. What's going on? I'm scared of this pigeon. Ah! Right, I'm gonna leave this pigeon alone. Sorry, bud. Ah! I'm gonna leave that room alone. <laughs> that scared me. <laughs> scared me. That scared me. Right, guys, let's. We're gonna keep going. We're gonna keep going. Uh, did I scream then? Absolute bird poo everywhere in here. Alright, these rooms are pretty. Look, someone's give that door a bloody good kick in as well. And this one. But I've just seen something in the mirror there that I kind of want to just look at. Oh, it's not a mirror. I thought it was a mirror. I'm going to have to be careful here. I thought that was a mirror showing me what's behind here, but it's an actual way through. And look at this, it's like a kid's room. Oh, no way. It's like a proper little kids hideaway look at the inflatable chair magnetic dartboard on there and look at this puppet this is cool so maybe this is where they just put the kids out the way like a little games room for children little pool table magazines all over this chair oh the floor's a bit sketchy there but look mickey mouse there electric drum cat and fel felts felts wow this is cool. Is this door locked then? Yeah, that door's locked, right? So somebody's that's why somebody's give this door a kick in. Right, and the, the carpet is a bit dodgy there. Oh. Right, oh, there's a bit, bit one of a vial. That door you can't get through. Oh, look, it's just bird poo everywhere again. Look at this. It's mountains of the stuff. Oh. So this is that dodgy staircase that I've shown you before. Look at that, the stairs have just collapsed in. Just completely collapsed in on themselves. Because I think there's a skylight above it which is broke. Yeah, so that skylight there is broken. Oh, you can't even get it through there. And it's uh, come down and rotted the staircase away. Oh, this is so sketchy up here. Right, okay, I think we're alright. I think we're okay now. But look, room 31 now. So we're up to 31 rooms. Obviously we haven't been through them all. Because that would be daft. What? Oh, 32. I thought that was room 2 again. But I, would, I wouldn't really want to stay at this end. I'm not keen on this end of the uh, hotel, to be honest. Just a toilet there. Yeah, this, room, this part of the hotel is, I think, the cheap rooms. Definitely the cheaper rooms. These are like quite bog standard, like the basics. Yeah. And there's actually what I believe feces on the bed there, or it could just be like brown from when it's gone uh, moldy after the ceilings have leaked. But this is so cool, this place. Um, is this TV plugged in? It's plugged in. Is it coming on? The old Watson. Give it a sec, Adam. Sometimes you have to press these, if I remember. I was like eight when these TVs come out. Oh, there you go. Check that out. How cool is that? Matt? There's someone in that corridor, I've just heard them. So, Tiva. Matthew or another pigeon coming to finish me off nobody seems to be up there is this the last room? this is stairs <coughs> ah we're just back to some stairs now but I don't know where they go so I'm not going to go down them ones in case they're like the others and collapsed I'm going to stick to the parts that I know so guys, there you have it. We are going to head down now. We're going to get pictures on the way out. Make sure you follow Adam Mark Explores on Instagram. And we're going to just have a little look around the outside because there's so much out there as well. So guys, we'll see you out there. This has been absolutely sick. Let's go.
Right guys, we are back outside and look at this place. Absolutely huge, old stone built. Amazing, look at the ivy growing up on the outside. It is stunning building, isn't it? But look how overgrown everything is. All these dead fawns, few buildings over there, but there is actually like a public car park there. So just gonna try and avoid that for now. But look at this. This is what I wanted to come and look at. Check out this old park here. That is sick. It's so overgrown as well. But you can just like imagine back in the day, all the parents would have been here having a bevy, having a drink and that. Kids would have been playing on here, going down the slide and what have you. Oh my God, that's so muddy. I nearly sunk. But look at the steps all overgrown. You've got like a little drawbridge, the pole. I wouldn't go down that pole now, you get a fawn right up your ass. But it's sick, isn't it, mate? How cool is this? Even I love this, the park as well. Just all overgrown here. It's so overgrown. Amazing. It is actually so cool. So there you are, guys. An amazing abandoned tour of this old Georgian hotel. Hope you've enjoyed it, guys. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I thought it's absolutely amazing. All the decay, all the stuff left inside. Four poster beds, the TVs and telephones still working and the power still being on. Absolutely blags my head. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll be back next week with another amazing abandoned adventure and I hope to see you there. Cheers.